Yeah. Oh yeah. Hello guys, how are you? My name is Alejandro and I hope you're having the best day of your life because today, the day is battle day. <sighs> Acoustic versus electronic. Today is going to be it's going to be insane. It's going to be it's going to be brutal, you know? And in today's fight, we're going to have six different rounds. The first one's going to be about sound, the second one's going to be about feel, the third about noise, the fourth one look, the five round practicity, and the last, the sixth round is going to be about drumsticks. Yeah, yeah, drumsticks. So at the end of this video, we're going to see which one's better. <sighs> Stay, because this is going to be crazy, let's go. Okay, here's the thing, the sound of both drum kits is amazing. But there's one thing that makes the acoustic kit way better than the E kit, and that is dynamics. <sighs> Here, we love dynamics. And yeah, the E kit has amazing triggers, like the dynamics on that kit are great, but they are not as sharp as in the acoustic one. The dynamics in an acoustic set, uh, they're just beautiful. The ghost notes on acoustic are perfect. I freaking love doing ghost notes on the acoustic, but on the e kit, they are not as sharp as in this one. Yeah, that's the thing. Because the dynamic range of the notes, low, medium, high on the acoustic are just flawless or beautiful. It's it's perfect. But on the E kit, due to the fact that we have triggers, everything is electronic. Sometimes the triggers do not work 100% as you want it to. Like for example, sometimes you hit the cymbal not that hard and it sounds like and I'm like, oh, bro, but I, I just, I, I didn't even touch it like that hard. I was like, doo, 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 doo. just doing this and the, and the crash was super loud. So yeah, we are depending on technology and sometimes technology is not as sharp as this guy, as the, as the acoustic drum kit. So this round, the first round goes to the acoustic set. Beautiful. Okay, what about Phil? Ugh, Phil! Both drum kits have completely different materials on cymbals and on the drum heads. So the Phil on the acoustic versus the A kit is completely 
different. And okay, one cool thing about this e-kit is that it's the same size of an acoustic kit. So if you want to practice, you have the same movement you have on an acoustic set and that is beautiful. But talking about the feel, in that kit we're talking about mesh heads. They are perfect for a low volume practice, but about the feel, for example, in the snare drum, on the acoustic one, you have a really tight feel on the snare drum. And even though that is a very tense mesh head, it doesn't feel as hard as this one. So when you want to do doubles, the doubles come great in this one, but in this one, the rebound is not the same. And the same happens with the toms. But the real difference comes with the cymbals. The cymbals feel completely different. I remember the first time that I played this, I played it like for two weeks and I didn't play my acoustic kit like for two weeks. And when I went back to the acoustic one, the cymbals felt really weird. These cymbals are super soft compared to the plastic ones of the e kit. The symbols on the e kit doesn't have like that natural move that goes along with your hand. It's plastic, it doesn't move that much, so uh, it's it's a little bit uncomfortable to play them. Sometimes your hands can hurt because the symbol doesn't have that natural move, so the impact goes straight to your wrist, and that is not a good thing. <laughs> so yeah, I would say the worst part about e-drums are the cymbals. They feel completely different compared to the acoustic cymbals, which are fantastic. So yeah, the round number two, again, goes to the acoustic set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Round number three, noise. But we don't have to talk that much about noise. Like, we already know that the acoustic, no. This is an easy one, but you already know how loud an acoustic set is. It's, it is extremely loud. Your neighbors are going to hate you if you have an acoustic set. <laughs> but if you have a Nick kit, you already know that this guy, those things are silent AF compared to an acoustic drum kit. And that's the reason why I wanted a knee kit because I wanted a low practice kit. And with that drum kit, I can play like at freaking 3 a.m. And my neighbors are like, hmm, is the drummer guy still living there? I don't hear anything. And I'm like, Ugh. going crazy in the kit. 3 a.m., it's beautiful. So now the mesh heads and the plastic cymbals are perfect to have 
a low volume practice sesh and that's the reason I wanted a new kit because I wanted to play for more hours without messing my neighbors or even the people in the house so it's it's beautiful so it's obvious that the round number three goes to the electronic drum kit beautiful beautiful congratulations <laughs> Hey, let's talk about luck, but this is an easy one. Come on, just look at it. It's sexy AF. Oh my God, so hot. And don't get me wrong, that is hot too, but nothing beats the look of an acoustic set. Nothing, It's it, they are beautiful. Like the color combo with the cymbals, the drum kit, the snare, the cowbell, everything, just the color combo, the combination, it's just beautiful. I love acoustic sets. <laughs> and okay, it looks beautiful. I like the red with the white and the black tones on the cymbals and on the hardware, but mm, it has a lot of cables. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that e-kits have a lot of cables. Like a lot of cables. <laughs> and that thing doesn't happen with acoustic set. I know we have mics with cables, but it doesn't look. So, yeah, you need to be hiding a lot of cables. I remember when I was installing everything, ugh, I had a really hard time hiding the cables. <laughs> I don't like cables. But it's beautiful. It also looks beautiful, but nothing beats an acoustic look. Beautiful. I would say this thing, the acoustic kit, is the worst when it comes to practicity, especially with the sound. You have this acoustic set, and that's it. You can't change the sound. If you go to a gig, you're going to have just one sound, one acoustic sound. And yeah, I know you can change the sound of an acoustic set, but you will have to tune every drum one by one if you want another sound on the cymbals, you'll have to replace them. So you need to be carrying all your cymbals to have different sounds. And that is not practical. <laughs> oh no, no. But that's exactly the opposite of an e-kit. The e-kits are extremely practical when it comes to sound. For example, I think this e-kit has 45,000 samples, I think, and you can add the samples you want to the memory card. So for example, let's say you have the three zone right symbol and you can have three different sounds in one piece. Let's say you have the cowbell sound on the bell, on top you have the right sound and on the edge you can have a crash sound. So you have three different sounds in just one 
symbol. Here you can take your E kit and if you want to play, I don't know, heavy songs, you can. And if there's an acoustic song and you want to play the cajon, you can put cajon sounds to that kit and that is, that is beautiful. And if you want to change the sound of the drum kit, you just have to switch it to a different kit and you have a completely new different sound you don't have to tune anything you just have to you just have to scroll in your drum kit library and choose the one you want as simple as that like that you can have multiple sounds in just one kit you're not going to waste any time tuning again if you have an e kit so the round number five goes to the e kit of course of course Okay, final round, the round number six, drumsticks. Okay, look at this. Here's the comparison of how many drumsticks you're going to use with an acoustic set compared to an ear kit. Check this out. <laughs> oh my God. These are, I don't know how many drumsticks are in here. Just look at this. It's a bag full of broken drumsticks. <laughs> So if you have an acoustic kit, you already know how much money, how much wood you're wasting with drumsticks. And check this out. Check this out. I've been playing my e-kit like for over a month now. And look at this. These are the first and the only drumsticks I've been using with that kit for over a month. And I play almost every day. Just look at this. <laughs> they are brand new. <laughs> so if you have a naked, say goodbye to spending a lot of money on drumsticks because this is perfect. It's like magic. Just look at this. So after comparing the amount of drumsticks you need to use for an acoustic set compared to a naked, the sixth and the last round goes to the e kit. Yeah. So after six rounds, the winner is. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> Here's the thing: both of them, acoustic and electronic drum kits, are are beautiful, are great, but they are completely different they are meant to be used for completely different situations for example in my case i do love the acoustic set but it's not the perfect set to practice with for long sessions because it is extremely noisy and that is uh, just perfect to practice for long sessions and and i can play at any time without messing anyone and that is beautiful so at the end no drum kit is better than the other because they are completely different the acoustic is perfect for some sort of situations and the e kit is perfect for another type of situations so yeah at the end no one is better than the other they are completely different but they are absolutely beautiful we love drums drums are life baby and i think that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you like it if you like it it would be amazing if you give it a thumbs up that would be the best thing ever <laughs> and don't forget to smash that subscribe button uh, you guys know how to smash that thing oh my god <laughs> and once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care goodbye